What is up guys, Kim from Magic Motorcycles here again. Uh, just going to quickly show you um, an example of using wiring diagrams before I jump into this video. So this is quite a good diagram to start with because this is a black and white diagram. So if you come across these you should be able to tackle these quite easily. So this is for the SV that I've got. If you look over to the right hand side towards the bottom you see a section um, saying Y colours. Now on the Y colour section you've got um, so that Y for yellow, BR for brown, um, B slash W will be black and white, um, GR is grey, uh, stuff like that. So it's quite easy to figure out. Um, if you go from the headlights towards the front of the bike on this, which is on the left hand side, um, and then you put those into colour, you'll be able to trace where all the wires go. So once you trace your wires from the headlights, you'll be able to see what colour is which. So if you follow it round, you see it goes towards the bottom saying dimmer switch. Dimmer switch on the left hand side says high and low. High for high beam, low for low beam. So you can now see that yellow is in fact for the high beam of the bike. So it's quite it's quite simple to figure out. Um, it does take a little bit of looking at and a little bit of tracing cables. Um, but your, all your colour codes are down here for, for what colour is what. So if you go into the next one, which is B slash W, that stands for black and white. And if you follow that around, you'll see that that is actually your ground. It goes all the way to the negative pole, your battery. So you know that's going to be the ground for your lights. Um, so that's another quite simple thing. Uh, again, just having a look at it. Moving on to the next one, if we go to the position light. Um, which for this example we'll be using this cable for the uh, halo ring because that's our position light um, you'll see that that colour is brown and you'll be able to follow that because you already know that the black and white that is next to it is your ground so that's the ground for the colour of everything on your bike so the last colour is white white is your low beam you can follow that all around to your switch and you'll see that on your dimmer switch that is your low beam so moving on to the diagram we're able to see that on the headlight itself, the blue is low beam, orange is high beam, black is ground, and the two separate cables, which is red and black, um, is for your halo ring. So the red is halo ring positive, black is halo ring ground. So if we match them up to the bike cables, you know white is low beam, so it'd be white to blue, yellow high beam, black and white ground, brown position light, and then another black and white ground to the halo ring. So following that diagram, you're able to kind of match up what goes where um, and you can stretch this out to any bike really when it comes to doing stuff like this um, as long as you have a wiring diagram uh, that's probably the easiest way to sort of find your starting point um, another thing I suggest that you should have is a multimeter you can pick them up quite cheap I'll drop a link in the description for that as well uh, for a cheap multimeter so you can double check everything just go around try and find your 12 volt connection so turn your lights on Try and find your 12 volt for your lights, turn it off again, make sure it drops to zero, you know you're in the right place. So as we saw on the diagram there, the um, wires we need to focus on for doing this light is the white, yellow, brown and the black and white. Um, so this is quite easy, I've just taken all the tape off the loom, I've hooked up the old switch for now until I can wire the new one just to get this part of the process out of the way. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to cut these wires right back because they're just all greasy and horrible anyway um, because what we're also doing is we're getting rid of most of the cables off this bike so I best start by snipping the yellow probably about here I'm going to snip the white next now the brown one we've got a um, splitter on there so I'm just going to cut it off the splitter because I will replace that and last the black and white so I'm just going to leave this lot sort of dangled in there for now because there is a couple of cables on there that I will be going through later because I need a few to go to the um, speedometer as well but for the minute we're just going to run like that so currently at the moment I've got those stripped um, I'm actually waiting for some cables to arrive because um, I've got numerous colours coming but this will honestly do it. so because we're going to have a cable specifically for that you're not going to confuse it with anything else so we're just going to go with um, two red uh, wires 
two black wires and one orange wire. And the orange wire is just going to define the difference between the high beam and the low beam. So yeah, these um, connectors, they just slide over, right over the top of your cable. And then the likes of the white wire, we just kind of half splice these together. Once you've got them done the way you want them, just slide this over the top so that the metal solder point is over where you're connecting the wires. Um, you can use a lighter for this, I'm just going to use a heat gun because I've got one. So the reason I try and make this quite quick is because I know a lot of people panic about doing wiring. Um, it's really not something you have to panic about a lot of the time when it comes to doing stuff like this. If you're unsure and you come to more, um, I don't know, difficult task, yeah, it can be daunting. Uh, good example is this morning on this. Um, I recently had to change my ignition. I was waiting for my battery. So I've got an aftermarket ignition listed for a Generation 1 SP650. Uh, put it on the bike, turn the ignition on, and the rear tail light came on. And I was sort of sitting there going, well that's not right, because the switch is off, lights are on. Nothing else would work. So what it turned out to be, uh, when I looked at it, was that the connections on the inside of the ignition were completely wrong for this bike. So, <coughs> pretty much the wrong wires are connected in the wrong places. Now the other issue that I found is that even though this is listed for this bike, it doesn't have a resistor inside of it. So now I have to get a resistor to bypass the security to make this bike spark again so it can actually start up. Um, which I now have on order, but considering it's listed for this bike, it, you know, it should have already been done. The black wire, I need um, sort of two into one to go to the black and white. Um, because this is going to provide me the ground uh, for both the halo ring which is on a separate plug and the headlight. So all I'm doing is I'm going to have two wires like that, go straight from here into one, done. So I've got my bunch of wires here, just going to thread these ones through the front of the bike. What I'll do is I'll get to wrapping them afterwards. just need to determine the length. I always leave a little bit extra because I'd rather have too much than too little when it comes to doing this sort of thing. So pop that through there for now. So onto the front of the bike you can see we've already got one cable here which I've done a little while ago. Um, we want to do the same with these here but what we want to try and do is when it's all wired up I want to try and have them tucked up into the back of this headlight so underneath there is a gap and they can be shoved up there so they're kind of hidden so what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to chop these ends off and then we're going to put some auto plugs on a link in the description so you can grab some of those so yeah everything I'm using here between the lights the cables the lot I'm going to drop the whole lot into the description so that you can get them yourself just an example, you are better off with crimpers, but I'm going to use pliers, not only to show you guys that you don't need them, but I've also lost my crimpers somewhere. I may have lent them to the neighbour and forgot about them, it's fine, you can make do without. So just slide it into the pin, get your pliers. Don't just squash it down when you're doing pliers. I find the best way is to just get one edge, squeeze that down so it's folded over. Other edge straight over the top. And that's just that's just one end. We've not actually done the end for here yet, so we know it's gonna be a good tight connection. So with these when you push them through they have a little tab on the bottom and that's what holds them in place. They can be a bit finicky 
You see that's clicked in now. The same with the last one. What I generally do, get a little screwdriver, just push them down. So they sit snug. Just like that. Now, when it comes to cutting these, you don't want to cut them super short, but you don't want them really long because it's just a nightmare and a mess to try and hide that and move it around. What you need to take into account when you do something like this is that you want a little bit of slack on anyway. You don't want it yanked tight when it's wrapped. But also when you turn the bike, you want to make sure that if this pulls this way, you're going to have that little bit of slack on there. So when you turn the bars, it's going to move with the bars ever so slightly. Um, just because of the nature of it, you want to stand still frame moving front end. So you want to make sure you've got enough length that it can comfortably move but without it being too long. So, with all that out of the way, what we should have to do now, pop these plugs in. Number two, fit the key on. I've got my uh, light control switches over the other side. So, this is your day running lights. Flick over to the next one. Run to headlights. So that's the low beam. Press the switch. That's the high beam. So yeah, everything's working as it should. Flick that off now. So pretty much all that's left to do with this front end is once I've wired this up, um, which I've got to sort out the cables for this and snip a few off, because half of these we don't need for this bike. We've only then got to um, wrap this lot and then these plugs will tuck up inside of the headlight unit out of the way neatly wrapped um, cable coming through the frame here uh, along with the clutch cable and I extend this one and yeah pretty much trying to just keep all the the front of it tidy um, but we're nearly done with this section of it yeah thanks for watching guys please give a thumbs up for this video if you liked it please subscribe massively be supporting the channel uh, next video we're going to do the regulator rectifier on this bike so we're going to hardwire it into the bike common problem plugs are melted sort it out of the hard wire so yeah, guys like comment subscribe we'll see you for the next video